orange seems pretty sus. Welcome again to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Among Us and creating one of the characters in Affinity Designer. So this game has been going wild throughout the past few months. So why not let's create our own, design it how we want it, color it how we want. So let's get to it. Just a quick note, you can follow these instructions in Photoshop and Illustrator and any other design software. I'm going to be using Affinity Designer because I love the software myself. So if you are following these steps within a different software, just make sure that certain bits are going to be in different places or hidden under different areas. So just make sure you find out where those things are. But for the most part, there shouldn't be too much that you won't be able to do. All right, let's jump straight into this. The first thing, obviously, what you're going to want to do is go to File new and we'll just create a page of 800 by 600 you can kind of make it whatever size you really want it to be it doesn't that matter at this point hit create and the first thing that we're going to want is a reference of some kind so we know exactly what we're going to make so i've just copied one off of google which i'm going to paste in here so we've got that ready so we can kind of figure out where certain things are just so it makes it a little bit easier instead of remembering it off the top of your head so if we move this off to this side over here now you can trace over this if you like, similar to the video that we did with the Fall Guys skin. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to do it slightly different. So we're going to make it a bit more freehand. You will be surprised at how easy this actually is to make. First off, let's grab a square or a rectangle tool as it's known as. And what we'll do is we'll make a simple looking rectangle. Kind of like that. So it's 147.5 by 23, 231.7 sizes don't actually matter if we really want to what we can first do with this is get rid of the fill and right at the top here click on the stroke and we'll increase the stroke as you can see it's quite a thick border around the outside so we'll make this something like 10 just to kind of match that size now if we want to make sure that this is the right length and the right width we can just bring this one back over and line it up and you know what that's not too bad it's not too bad if we grab the rectangle, we can just bring that in a little bit just to get the proportions a bit better. All right, let's move that back out of the way. So the first thing we'll do is we'll round off the top of the rectangle. So if you click on the rectangle, head up here to the corner tool, click on that. And all we're going to do is grab the top two by just clicking and dragging and bringing that in. Making sort of like a shape like that. We'll leave these bottom two for now and we'll make the feet in a second and what we can do is name this one the body just by clicking on the name there if we grab the rectangle tool again we can make another rectangle just on the outside here which i'm not sure what that is i think it's a backpack of some kind it's probably like an oxygen tank but we'll just call it backpack and same thing again click on the rectangle with the move tool Go to the corner tool, grab these outside corners here, and we'll just curl these in like that. We've got the general shape of it going there. Now for the feet, what we'll do is if we grab another rectangle, if we create a rectangle like this where it intersects over the body shape, what we can do is grab hold of that rectangle that we just made, hit control, click on the layer that has the body, and up at these tools up here, if we hit the divide, what it does is divides the lines into separate shapes. So if we click on this one here, we can delete the underneath here. Don't need that. And delete that top one as well. And we're left with kind of like the basic shape of the legs. But as you can see, the legs on this character is a lot further down. They're a lot stumpier legs than we've got here. So if we grab the node tool, while clicking on the body and we can just zoom in here if we click and drag and grab hold of these two here we can just bring this down now, if you're worried about accidentally going left and right if you hold shift it allows you to be able to move it up and down quite easily as a, there's another part of the legs which we need to add in as well which is this kind of underbelly sort of shape and the way we can do that really simply is with the node tool again is click on this node here and up here what we can do is break that curve 
So what it means is that now these are two separate points. They're not actually combined together. Let's just control and Z that to undo. We click that one and break that curve as well. And we can either, there's two things we can do. We can either grab hold of this extra little bit that we just created and delete it, or we can manipulate this. I'm going to delete it just because it makes it easier for me. If I delete that, we'll grab the pen tool and we'll make a curve. So let's click around about here somewhere. Click where we want it to end, about there. And we'll just curl that around. We'll make it too exaggerated. And then what we can do with the no tool again is grab hold of this and just fine tune it. Something like that. And if we grab hold of this leg here, again holding shift so we don't accidentally go left and right too far. Bring that up. So it fits in like that. And as you zoom out, you can kind of see that this is overhanging a little bit too much. So we'll zoom in, click that node, bring it in a bit. And we'll just curl it a little bit less. So now we can focus on the feet. So again, click with the no tool, grab all the feet, go to the corner tool, and we'll just curl them in kind of like about that much. You can see at the top here what the radius is. You can actually curl it more and less with this as well. But we're going to stick with around about 60. So that's the general body. And what we need to do now is create the helmet. I think it's a helmet right? Well, they're in space. So, and again, the easiest way to make this as well, let's grab another rectangle about a third of the way down from the top. We'll click and drag and make a rectangle about that size. And up here, you can see the corners. We can round these corners off and using this slider up here, we can just curl that all the way in like that. And then with the beauty with this is that we can actually just amend this. We'll make it a little bit bigger a little less long on the outside like that so you might think it looks a little bit too clean but what we'll do as well is with the node tool grab on the outside body and you can see that the top of the head isn't quite curled perfectly it kind of slopes down on this right hand side so we'll emulate that simply by grabbing this node here holding shift so again we don't accidentally go left and right too far, bringing that down slightly. And we also have this bulgy effect here. So we can just grab this node here, bulge that out, and that makes it look a bit more like it does in the game. So next is the coloring. We'll make the shadings very similar to this because this is often what the actual characters look like. But first off, the easiest thing you can do is click on the body, which we need to rename. So you could click on the body and give it a color, but I would advise against that. What you'd be better off doing is creating a color on a separate shape and putting it within the actual body shape. And I'll show you how to do that now. So if we get rid of that color and while we're here, we'll move this extra little bit between its legs above because we want it definitely showing up. So if we get a big rectangle, cover the whole shape, we'll get rid of the stroke by clicking this little white circle with a red line going through it. Click back on the fill and pick a color. Let's make this red. Red's always pretty sus. Now with this rectangle, if we grab it and offer it to the body, if the blue line is completely solid across the whole of the list, then it's simply going to go underneath it. But if you hover it slightly to the right, you'll see it'll go inside of the body, as you can see on the screen. And when you let go, it'll be listed within the actual body itself. And now the reason to do this is so that you can stack colors on top of colors. So now when we add the shadowy effect, which will be this greeny effect here, we can stack it on top and it'll be a lot easier to do. So again, what we'll do is we'll grab the pen tool and we'll start from somewhere up here on this side, similar to where this starts here. Click it at the top and we'll click down here drag across kind of at an angle and then we'll stick another node here click and drag and then we'll stick another node up there and then what we can do is just get a little bit careless with this and just click around the outside like that just to complete the, the shape and now if we want to make it the same red that we have here 
if we grab this eyedropper tool here, grab hold of that circle that's on the side there, click on the color and you'll see the color turn up here. If we click on that, you won't really see anything happen, but what we've just done is made this shape the same color as the background. What we can do now is using this color wheel is we can darken this off and make it something like that. Now, if for any reason you're left with a shape like this, then the shape you've created is outside of the body. So simply again, pop this, drag and drop it underneath the body so it's within the actual body color and make sure it's on top of your background color. You don't want it underneath, otherwise you won't see it. You want it on top of the background color. Now what we'll do is we'll edit this slightly. If we grab the no tool, we can just bring this one in a little bit. Bring that one across like that, just so it gives it more of a curly effect like that. So same thing with the backpack. Let's use the pen tool this time. And we'll make this kind of curly shape that they've got here because it's not quite straight like a rectangle is. If we click here, drag, click and drag, make a curl there and click at the top. Now again, we can be quite careless with this because all these colors are going to be hidden underneath within the lines. And we want to copy this red color that we've got as our main body color. We'll grab the circle that's to the right of this eyedropper, hover it over the color that we want. Let go, click on that color, and we'll offer this into the backpack like that. Perfect. Now what we can do is grab the pen tool again, make a careless shape, and grab this circle, copy that color, click on that one, offer this into the backpack, and then just open this backpack up and make sure the shadow color is underneath the main color. And just like that, we've got the shadow of the backpack as well. Now for the visor, as you can see here, there's, there's three different colors. We've got the really dark shadow, a slightly lighter color, and then the white circle. So we'll start off with the darker color at the back. Grab your pen tool, click around about that sort of area of the left side of your visor. And it sort of ends on the other side at the bottom right as well. So we'll head over to there, click and drag. And you can actually just drag all the way out towards the right and let go there and again carelessly go around the outside and what we'll do is we'll copy this color as well just to save us having to find it so again use that dropper tool click and hold drag it over let go click on that color we've got it there and we'll offer that into the helmet and now if you notice the rest this light blue color is the rest of the helmet so we can just make a big circle for the rest of the helmet and copy this color, click on that. Now within the helmet, you can actually see the shadow is underneath the base color. So we'll just move the shadow above and we have ourselves that. And then what we'll do is we'll grab a circle, stretch that out across there, make this white, spin it around very slightly. And then using the arrow keys on the keyboard, just to fine tune where we want it to be. And there you go. You've got yourself an Among Us character. Now the great thing you can do with this is change the colors to whatever you like. So let's say for example we want to change all the base colors. So if we click on the rectangle that we have within the body, if you hold control within the layers and click on the base color that we have on the backpack, you can change these colors together. So we can go for something like a pink and same again, click on the shadow color that we have here and the one in the backpack and we'll spin this round to a lightish pink slash purple. And that's it. If you want to, like I did with the Fall Guys character, we're just going to bring my logo in there, bring this down, and we'll just pop that just on its belly right there. Like that. But there you have it. You've got yourself an Among Us character there. You can make any fine little tweaks that you want to it, change the leg sizes a little bit, or change the colors that you want. Or you can get creative and try and draw it in different poses as well. But for the base character, there you have it. So if you like this video, make sure you drop it a like. Hit the subscribe button because there's going to be more character creations like this that's going to be coming up. As well as the 7 Things series that I've got going on. If you would like to, you can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. All those links are in the description below. And if there's any characters in the future that you want me to create, drop them in the comments as well. 
But as always, I've been Brown Bear. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.